Holger Zahn runs a tree nursery in Berlin and has a passion for bonsais. For him, tending them is more of an art than a job. Over the years, these trees have been cut back and repotted to assume this shape, this abstract form. People who've traveled in Asia probably know that this art form is practiced there. But it's become increasingly attractive here, too. But at this time of year, most of his sales are for Christmas trees. Sun's business is not hugely profitable. So where could he turn to for investment capital when no bank would lend him money? His solution was joining a local exchange trading scheme, or LETS. Here people offer goods and services and are compensated in kind. We needed investment capital and had something to give in return. We had our plants to offer and got the capital we needed. The tree nursery needed 25,000 euros for this garden cafe. The idea was to create an environment that would make customers want to stop by more often. Holger Zahn's dream became a reality, thanks to a contractor who belongs to the exchange trading scheme. It was built under the direction of Mr. Herlitz. He oversaw the construction and brought the other contractors on board and put up this little beauty here. Fred Herlitz is the one who helped make the cafe possible. He runs a family business with a staff of 10 and also has to keep a close eye on the bottom line. To build the cafe, he received vouchers redeemable from other LETS members within two years. Do you buy trees too? I have, on this credit basis. It's always a give and take. You know you can buy trees and you have vouchers. We've worked together, so I'll never buy trees anywhere but at the Spät nursery. But you don't have to? No, I don't have to. I can buy things from cooperation partners across Germany. Herlitz can use his vouchers not only for trees, but for any goods and services offered by his exchange's 700 members. He needs a new car for his business. I don't have enough money of my own to pay for this car. And the banks always charge very high interest rates. I've been saving up for two years, and I've accumulated plenty of vouchers. With his vouchers in hand, Herlitz turns to his exchange, the German Society for Compensation in Berlin. He's looking for a car dealership. The society collects membership fees and a commission for every transaction. So why do companies want to join? To maintain liquidity and, if necessary, to have alternative, cheaper sources of financing available. Holger Zahn's idea worked. Customers flock to his nursery's cafe. The barter system has improved his business, even if customers are buying coffee and cake rather than trees. Still, such exchange systems are not very widespread in Germany. Does Zahn think they'll catch on? I don't think we'll all avoid banks and only barter in the future, but it's an additional option if you're having trouble or can't access the banks. I think it's quite exciting and interesting for mid-sized companies. At any rate, the trading exchange just keeps growing. It's expecting to welcome 300 new members next year.